what's going on guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we're back in our world that we did the building a creative mode house in 10 minutes video and we're currently inside the house this yeah this is what I managed to build in creative mode in 10 minutes yeah I'm not the builder alright I'm not the best builder alright so yeah, today I'll be doing another challenge, I guess you could call it, that's related to the one we did previously, and that's how good of a bunker I can build in 10 minutes. Now a friend at school actually suggested this to me, and I thought it was a cool idea for a video. So now I'm recording it, so yeah. Special shout out to that guy, and without further ado, let's get into today's video. Alright, so, here we have the timer, faithful timer that we used in the last video, and I'm going to go ahead and once again start this thing in 3, 2, 1, now. Timer started, Up. started, come on Minecraft, you're wasting my time, I'm trying to build a bunker in 10 minutes. So yeah, we'll be building this besides our house that we did in the last, I guess you could call it, challenge video. Now, there's one rule, but I'm going to state for myself here either. I'm not allowed to use bedrock. So, obviously, I'm going to grab myself some obsidian. And I'm also going to need a chest. Uh, just a regular chest. Yeah, so before my time is completely up, let's actually start building the bunker. <laughs> right, so, let's see here. Yeah, we're gonna build it a little. Nah, let's. Okay, so first we want to work on the design. So I'm gonna just. Yeah, this probably isn't gonna be a big bunker, but I'm trying to build as good a bunker as I can in, well, only ten minutes time. So yeah, this should be about. Yeah, this should be about good for the length and the width. That's, yeah, after all, it is a bunker, so that's really going to be that big of a bunker. Okay, let's just make it five blocks. No, let's go for four. Let's go for four. So, I'm not just going to be using obsidian and chests. I mean, how am I going to get inside? I'd build a double piston door if I had the time, but I only have ten minutes, so, yeah... I'm not really gonna be wasting any time doing that. If I had like an hour's time to build a bunker, yeah, then I would build it much bigger and probably better. Add water around it or something like that. But yeah, thing is, I've only, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've only got 10 minutes to build this thing, so. So now what I'd want to do is I'd want to clear out the floor again. Just like I did for in the last video. Clearing out the floor. Make room for the obsidian. Just keep digging, just keep digging. What do you do when you stop digging? You continue to build. Alright, so floor's almost dug out. Ah, oh, come on. I just placed a random obsidian block. Now then, let's start on the floor. Gosh, why didn't I just do the method that I did when I built this, uh, well, I think in one of the videos where I, I mentioned my you know, world that I built, that's kind of like a parkour map, but it's not really a parkour map because I didn't release it to the public or anything, but yeah, it's pretty cool, so now, what I'd want to do is I'd want to grab myself a bed, I think to stick with the theme, I'm gonna go for a black bed. I'm obviously gonna need a crafting table. So let's go ahead and grab that too. A furnace. Because, well, if savers, I don't know, the world's got like a million zombies in it in a thousand block radius. 
That would be pretty crazy. So yeah, then we'll have to have everything we need to survive in this bunker. So, let me see. Yeah. Wow. Actually, actually, I think, I think what I'm, wow, guys, actually, I think what I might have completely overestimated the time that I'm gonna need to build this thing, either that or I'm just way too relaxed, but anyway, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and make it an iron door, doors, 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 don't fail on me now, doors, so then I'm obviously gonna need a button, I'm just gonna type in, but, Oh, I, I just typed in butt, but that's fine. <laughs> I just typed in butt, but that's fine. Okay, great. So, I want some torches, too. Let me see. That's under items. Yeah. Torches, where the flip are you? Oh, right there. But firstly, yeah, guys. I'd probably want a roof, huh? Yeah. I was thinking of maybe doing a double layer, but I don't quite think that I'm going to have time for that. Of course, a single layer of bedrock would be sufficient, but like I said, I made a rule of myself to not use bedrock because bedrock is literally unbreakable. Like, you can't break bedrock. Every Minecraft player knows that on this very well. A noob. But there's nothing wrong with being a noob. I too was a noob when I began. We were all noobs once. So I think I'm about halfway now. So now I'm gonna try something a bit like this. I'm gonna try something a bit like this. So it would like for example if there comes a fireball like directly for the house as in the door it won't fireball apart the Info guy, what are you even doing? I'm sorry guys, I I built this defense on the never house that me and my dad built a very long time ago. Back in the holiday actually. But uh, yeah, I haven't done this for quite a while. I don't even think I'm building this right, but I'm building it to what I think it... Yeah. I don't even know if, that, if this is working. Okay, so then what should happen is there should be a sort of a pathway from he here and really, really night time. You're really gonna do this to me now? Night time. Grr. Hey guys, I'm just gonna. Oh, my brightness is already at the maximum. See so now. I'm gonna go ahead and enable outdoor mode because oh heck i only have three minutes left yeah guys i'm just enabling outdoor mode so that you can actually see what i'm doing but it's still rather difficult to see what i'm doing oh my gosh well yeah guys now what i'd want to do is i would would want to get myself some supplies great so now yeah okay let's go ahead inside here Gosh, it's so dark. Let me just place a torch down so that I can actually see here. Oop, the graphics are glitching just a little bit. That's fine. So guys, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and get some supplies that we can put in the chest. First, I probably have to put down a chest, huh? You see... Uh... Well, it's we've got about two minutes left, so... It's fine. You know what, guys? I'm gonna go for a shulker box, just so that if, if we, like, if ever it was, if ever the chest was to break, all the items would pop out as well, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab myself a stack of mutton, and also just a bunch of gear, just stack myself full of diamond gear. Uh, yeah, yeah, guys, I'm pretty rushy right now because I'm I'm really on the timer here, as you guys know. 
Gosh, why do I have to be so perfectionistic? What else do I need? I need coal. I need coal. Don't have time. Haver, just type message that says but. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's just... I was trying to get to a button. Coal. Yeah. Timer. Whew. Okay, so... Oh yeah, gosh, guys, sorry about this graphics, it's really glitchy. Oh, egg, I... Give me a button! I need a button or else I won't be able to get out of a flipping place. I will, I will be able to get inside the bunker, but I won't be able to get outside. Whew! <laughs> oh, egg, I'm just gonna... Alright! Whew! Well... Guys, here we have it. I really do deeply apologize for this super laggy graphics, but anyway. Oh my gosh, I just... Yeah, guys, I'm going to wait for the timer to... Yep, timer's up. Well, guys, I'm quickly going to fix this graphic issue. Okay, here we go, it's fixed. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is our bunker. <laughs> yeah, as you guys probably noticed, I'm not really that good of a boulder, but anyway, let's, let's do what I did on the previous video. Let's actually try to give a door of a space. So anyway, here you can see it's just completely obsidian. I decided not to use bedrock because I just make it unfair. So anyway, you can walk in here, just turn, press the button, and then you can go in. Right, so then you can go in, and here you have your safe and secure-ish bunker. Even though some... Yeah, guys, it's really not a good bunker, because, like, someone, someone can literally just walk in here... Press the button and steal all your precious stuff inside your soaker box. But then again, this is like... Uh, this is, I guess, a mob defensive bunker? So that, like... And zombies can't press buttons as far as my knowledge goes. But anyway, you've got your bed, your furnace, crafting table and your soaker box with your diamond armor, diamond sword... Stack of mutton and a stack of coal. You have four beautiful torches. Thank you. Thank you, torch one. Thank you, torch two. Thank you, torch three. And thank you, torch four, for lighting up this place. So, yeah, guys, that's literally the entire bunker. Well, I want to thank you guys all so, so much for watching. As you guys can see in chat, I set it to daytime because I just can't do an outro in nighttime. It would just be so annoying because there's not a lot of light at all. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy watching this video. Please do be sure to leave a like if you did enjoy. And also please do be sure to subscribe if you want to see more from me. I post one video each and every day. And wow, these two creations next to each other, they actually look pretty good. You have a beautiful house and then you have something that's supposed to be a bunker. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please also do be sure to share it. I mean, do be sure to sh share it. What am I saying? Do be sure to share it with all your friends. Hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next one.